So uh, about a week, week and a half ago, um, I'm picking up some of the kids. My fiance is picking up the other kids. We all get back home at the same time. All the kids are dumping out. And she pops out and she goes, I hit that branch again. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She goes, the side mirror keeps hitting a branch, this little bush or that's coming out. And um, it, it hits. I, I got to pay attention to that on the street. And I said, I don't really know what you're talking about. So she tried to explain it to me, you know, where on the road it is and where it's sticking out. So, of course, the next day I'm driving home. I'm looking for this branch. Don't see it. Don't see it at all. And she comes back home. I said, you hit the branch? She goes, no, 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 no. I was able to swing wide and everything's fine. Problem solved. She swerves left. Good. Off my plate. I'm done. Move on to something else in my life. The next day, she goes, I hit that branch again. And I said, it was loud. And she goes, Titus, which is one of our sons, turns around. And he goes, it was loud. And I said, well, did it break the mirror? Like, no, 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 no. It just hit. And I said, okay. And I said, ah, we got to do something about that. And then one of the kids asked me a question, not top of the mind awareness, blew right up past it again. Friday, she comes in and looks at me and she goes, I broke my side mirror. And I said, how'd you break the side mirror? I'm thinking a car hit it. She was in a parking lot. She goes, that branch broke it. And I'm like, the same branch? I said, you didn't swing real wide. Again, giving her the information that was so successful the last time she drove by. Why wasn't it successful this time? But no, she goes, a car was coming the other way. Okay, well, it makes a lot of sense. We're not going to do a head on. So she had to stay inside of her lane and ended up breaking her side mirror. Now, my fiance, she drives an F-250 crew cab short bed. It is a big truck, four-wheel drive, sits high, big old side mirror for towing one of our trailers. And it broke the black cover. It broke the side, the side blinker light. I mean, demolished it on the side. It didn't blow it off the truck. The mirror on the inside still works, but the outside looks hideous. I mean, it did work. And I look at my, good God, what's the size of this branch? I have to admit, I saw a whimsy little bush that kept going by and just kind of slapping like a little whip, just slapping every time. And I said, I will go take care of it. So I went the next day. I woke up my older son that drives and I said, hey, I want you to drive me to where this branch is. I know it's a blind corner and people drive really fast on this road. There's a really good chance we're going to get rear ended. So I want you to pull up fast. I'm going to hop out with a saw. You take off. And then just keep doing laps until I flag you down saying that I'm ready to get picked up. And I said, I'll cut it into little pieces. If I can pull it up on the embankment, great. If I can't, we'll go back and get the truck and we'll take this branch down. So he goes, all right. And we, we arm up and I go get a little handsaw. It's this little saw. It's got a little curve to it. It's nasty teeth. The thing just chews through wood like butter. And I was like, all right, this will be fine no matter what size this is. And we'll take care of it. And he looks at me and goes, just get the loppers. You just go real quick, clunk, and we're done. And I said, no. I said, from what this damage did to this, you know, side mirror, I feel like this might be a little bit worse. So we get in the car. I got the side mirror or I got the little saw in between my legs here. I'm sitting shotgun. He drives around and say, right about here. And I'm, and I'm opening the doors. He's coming down to 10, five miles an hour. I hop real quick. I'm like, go, 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 go. And he takes off. And sure enough, there was a car right behind us. Nothing happened. Luckily, we didn't get rear-ended. They saw us and slowed down. And he takes off. I turn around to see this branch. The branch was about two inches thick. It was hard, hard wood of a eucalyptus tree. And the rest of the branches in the area of the eucalyptus tree were whimsical little bushes. So this one branch has been doing steroids. It's been working out in the gym every day. It is on a mission to take out cars. This is not, the rest of the tree is not this thick. And I got to admit, on one, one scale, one half of it, this branch is a testament to Mother Nature. It keeps getting nailed by the, tr by the cars that are going by, and it goes, all right, I'm going to beef up and bulk up, and so I don't get thrown around or bushed around or broken down. I mean, it's what Mother Nature does. They evolve. They adapt. So this one branch on the tree is just burly and strong and thick wood where all the rest of it is just whimsical stuff. It's just the one branch. So I go, all right, let's cut this thing down. So I, I cut it down. It's about 10 feet tall coming or 10 feet off to the side coming off the tree. And I cut it down. I move it off the side. And I see about four other branches that are in the next half year to year going to be the same problem. Cut the whole tree back, clean it up. Now, this tree is on public property. There's, it's not on private land. It's, a, it's pretty much owned by the government here. And it just happens to be overgrown onto the street. When I got done and pulled everything off the side, it was clean. It was tall bushes. I just put the branches down the base of the tree. No big deal. And then um, my son had just done a pass. So I had to wait for him to do a go around the block one more time. I started to take a walk down the road. Now, 20 feet down the road, I took this picture. And, you know, 
and you can see it right now, there's three side mirrors laying on the ground 20 feet from where this branch was. And I took notice and said, whoa, we're not the only one that this branch has taken out. So I walked back over to where the branch was. I counted over 20, I'd say 20, 21 side mirror covers that are laying on the ground right next to this branch. This branch has been taking out cars for probably the last year, year and a half, just doing work. And I stopped and I was dumbfounded that I'm the one that took care of the problem. It shocked me that in this, all this society, this whole population, all these people that had the problem, nobody took action. 